told you she says I'm out here in the mad science laboratory again I'll do a little wireless uh, demonstration here got a little AM radio over there and I'm gonna hook this 9 volt battery to this Slayer exciter I keep talking about how it's really easy to make a transmitter back in the old days they used to have a uh, spark gap uh, transmitter what they used for telegraphs you can see as I tap on that uh, light bulb, you can hear that uh, radio uh, basically getting some static on there. And if I take a, uh, a magnet and I find the right spot there, you should be able to hear some difference in there. Combine the two together. And if you listen real closely, you should be able to hear the sound of my hand rubbing that. probably tune that uh, just a hair better. Let me see. Either way, that's how data is transmitted by disrupting that field. Let's see if I got a stronger battery here. I had it tuned better earlier.
from here, every time that field is disrupted, the change in frequency. And the best one there is the static, the spark depth. So if you took this slider excited right here, and you made a uh, secondary with a uh, spark depth, you could actually adjust it. And there are means by which you can disrupt the magnetic field in order to literally have it come out the other side sounding just like a speaker. Let me bring that a little closer here. Okay, what I've done is changed it a little bit. There's a uh, thing called uh, amplitude modulated and frequency modulated in AM, FM radio. And I simply just took a ferrite core and put it over the top of this. And you'll hear some difference. the little tuner coils, coils out of a uh, out of a TV set. Let me see if that'll make it all the way over there. Okay, I changed the frequency simply by adding a little coil up here at the top.
here, Hal. Just by using the magnet, I can change the tone of that. Hold this doggone thing straight long enough. Either way, you can see that just by tinkering around with uh, different things such as a magnet and a uh, fluorescent bulb, you can get different sounds up out of the deal. So with that said, that's how a, a wireless transmitter really works. There's a little bit more to it to make it tuned, fine-tuned and all that, but that's that. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. All right, so what did we learn here? We learned that any coil that is pulsed, a uh, magnetic field that is disrupted, creates a uh, wave that actually can be transmitted via data depending on how fast you do it. So what I got here is an old tattoo gun. I'm going to hit... Uh, you can hear that already. Put my radio up here. So back in the old days, they want to type out some Morse code. They'd use dots and dashes. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a spark up in there. It's a solenoid motor, pretty much. One side sucks it down, and the other pushes it back. actually put that probably over there on the deal by the computer. You should be able to still hear that. Kind of hard. I should have made a wire to hold that. You can you can hear it even. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's how the old wireless telegraphs used to work. So in worst case scenario, what could you do with that? You could take one of these old tattoo guns and send Morse code down an old phone line or a telephone line or something like that and uh, be able to communicate in the worst case scenario. Or you can crank up the power and do it wirelessly and anybody who's got a radio who's listening for a signal 
would hear that and if they happen to be up on the old style Morse code then they would be able to uh, they'd be able to know what it is that you're trying to say to them let them know there's somebody else alive out there in the apocalypse or something like that so with that said I'll go ahead and shorten this video up I hope you appreciated it um, it's just a little addendum to the last video I did uh, I talk about uh, how frequencies uh, work you know it's basically disrupting a magnetic field and and by the speed of doing that you know it's just like the when you send electricity into the speaker of your into the wires of your speaker it's got a little coil in there that goes over a magnet and it'll vibrate up and down depending on how long that uh, current is actually to that coil and by doing this it, at certain rates it changes the frequency level of the acoustic wave coming out of there and you can actually hear audible sound and so with that said you can transmit any sound over any electric current that's going on you can ride them piggyback you can ride data across there and everything that's how the whole system works tesla was a genius man and so uh, with that said, uh, I'll go ahead and say peace and love. And y'all take care and stay tuned. Uh, I'll do some more uh, cool stuff for you pretty quick. Take care. One last thing. Um, when you have uh, your source, your power source, you could actually make a button to turn the power source on and off real quick or you could actually interrupt it anywhere it, within that field like actually in the coil itself have a, uh, a a way to disrupt it whether it be through some sort of microphone that you want to send audible uh, sound across to, uh, in the old days I did it with an old uh, digital synthesizer and uh, tapped it into my Shaziz coil and created a bit of a ruckus with that but that's alright um, but there's several different points in your uh, transmitter that you can actually disrupt that field before it gets out to the actual antenna itself and you can fine tune these by changing uh, coils and crystals and all that kind of stuff so with that said I just wanted to throw that in there peace and love everybody stay tuned